Good evening and welcome to the Thai PBS World. And right now, Kun Thep Chai Yong is joining me, reporting live from home as part of working from home. And we try to comply with the directive from the government in order to contain the virus COVID-19. And today, Kun Thep Chai, we see the Prime Minister Prayut Chan Ocha has announced the emergency decree and the details and he has addressed the whole nation in the afternoon and it seems all the content and the gesture are quite different from yesterday what's the keyword you have heard from his address good evening uh, good afternoon. i think it's uh, very clear today as to the things that we will encounter from uh, tonight on because the state of emergency will take effect starting midnight tonight. And uh, today, I think the Prime Minister was clear in both the language he used in his address and the tone of his message. I think he, he made it very clear that the country is now in grave danger. And he painted a very grim picture of the country uh, being dragged into an abyss of this uh, coronavirus. But at the same time, he also offer assurances that the government is equipped and ready to deal with the worst case scenario. And as you notice that he used very strong words in describing the current situation. He said uh, Thailand has reached a turning point in its fight against the pandemic. And the situation may worsen many folds and will soon have impact on the physical and mental health of the people of all the people in Thailand if the measures announced by the government are not strictly complied with by the people. And of course, I mean, he, uh, he, he also tried to rally support from the people to, uh, in, especially in cooperating with the authorities in, in confronting this, uh, this scourge. Yeah. Yes, so what he used that we are now reaching a turning point seems quite crucial and have a uh, feelings he like to address the feeling that this is very serious for the thai society to try to cope with coronavirus yes yeah, certainly he because he he understands the gravity of the situation but of, and, but of course he's not happy that uh, many people still not don't take the situation seriously and today he also made a very important point uh, of course, we remember that uh, the government and the Prime Minister in particular have been heavily criticized for not showing enough leadership in the fight against the coronavirus. So today, he made it clear that uh, who is in charge. I said, I am now fully in charge of every respect of the mission. The mission is the mission to fight the coronavirus. We said, I'm in charge of, the, of every aspect of the mission. And I will lead the mission myself, and we will, I report only to the people. Uh, and so it's very, very clear that he is now in charge. Because under the decree that he announced uh, uh, yesterday, and will take effect starting midnight tonight, the Prime Minister Kun Bajut will be the sole the person in charge of the whole operation. He is taking away all the powers from all the ministries or the agencies, and now all the powers are in his hand. So yes. he is the top executive. Uh, uh, official now and in, in deciding what to do next. Yes, that's right, because he emphasized that he's fully in charge and he reports directly to the people. And towards the end of his address, he also tried to support, convey the good gesture and try to provoke goodwill from the Thai people. And he said the virus might have ravaged many parts of the world but it cannot diminish our good hearts and the solidarity of the Thai people. I think this tone has slightly changed from his previous address. Yeah, definitely, because earlier he appeared to be seen, he was seen as, as having taken the gravity of the situation too lightly. And but now, I mean, he knows that he needs the support of the people to help him go through this very difficult time. And that's why he always, he has been emphasizing the need for the government and the people to be together in this. And today, I mean, he, as you mentioned, he ended his, uh, his address with a very strong message. 
He said we will fight the pandemic together, and together we will triumph. And it's it's quite 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 rare for the prime minister I mean, to really try to enlist the support of the people for for his idea. So this is uh, one of the few times that he makes it very clear that he is totally he's counting on the people to help make this this fight a success. Yeah. So it shows that he is at the driver's seat. He will command with single command and integrate with different departments in the government to try to deal with the worsening situation of COVID-19. That's what he said. And later, just a few hours later, Kunteb Chai, we could see Dr. Wisanu Kruangam, Deputy Prime Minister, had another separate press conference and he go into further details regarding emergency situation. So let's take a look in the detail of the emergency situation, which will be in effect from midnight tonight. Especially so shortly after the yeah, the, shortly after the prime minister delivered his address, I mean the, the government has announced a set of directives, which were later explained in details by the deputy prime minister could be some Basically, the, the, the directives deal with measures to stop people from gathering in public. I think the social distancing is a key word. And then working from home also is another key word that uh, Dr. Wissanou tried to emphasize based on the directive in the, in the announcement that, that was made today. Yes. But it's still far from national lockdown because Dr. Wisanu tried to make sure that people would have to know that this is not totally complete national lockdown in Thai society because people still can enter because the airports are still open. And he said, in a way, this is partially lockdown for Thailand. So what we can say, I mean, judging from the, the nature of the, the directives, we can say with certainty that this is a lockdown, but not in not in name, <laughs> but in fact, this is a it's a lockdown because our airports will be closed to non thais and even Thais who, who who want to return to to Thailand, uh, you need to have uh, the so-called fit to fly certificates, which are not easy to obtain, and and then uh, the travel within the country inter inter provincial travel will also be made very difficult. And uh, the direct, one of the directives today also talk about how people in three, three categories, I mean, people who are older than 70 and children under five years old and people with illnesses such as diabetes, I mean, pneumonia, respiratory problems are not supposed to be out on the street. They should go out only when it is necessary. And this is basically, I mean, a, 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 lock, a lockdown of, of sorts. And, and, and the, under the decree, the Prime Minister will have all the legal power to enforce all the measures earlier introduced by Bangkok and several other provinces that has led to the closing of shopping malls, entertainment places. And the past one week, we already saw attempts to ask for cooperation by authorities. But now the decree gives the authorities full legal power I mean, to enforce the, the restrictions. Yes, and the bottom line of the emergency situation is for people to stay at home and to work from home and to keep social distancing. But right now, all the authority have law enforcement to try to implement in the strict manner to follow the following measures. That's true. It's short of uh, having to impose a curfew as many people have uh, earlier feared. So no curfew yet, but uh, all the directives will be stringently enforced. Yes. And just recently, Kun Thep Chai, we saw the U.S. ambassador to Thailand has his own communication to the U.S. citizen in Thailand. So let's take a listen. My fellow Americans living and traveling in the kingdom of Thailand, I am Michael George DeSombri, your ambassador. My first responsibility is looking after the interests of US citizens in Thailand. That is particularly true in these unsettled times. Your safety and well-being is therefore my first task. 
I have instructed the staff at the U.S. Embassy in Bangkok and the U.S. Consulate in Chiang Mai to This is part of communication by U.S. Ambassador to Thailand, Michael De Sombri, and he said, according to Thai authority announcement today of emergency situation, it means that American citizens who are now residing in Thailand will have to comply with local law, but if anyone have some difficulty in terms of extending visa or to stay longer in Thailand, they have to report to the embassy directly by writing email or try to get in touch with the embassy. That's what the U.S. ambassador has just communicated via web page of U.S. embassy in Bangkok. Kun Thep Chai. Yes, yeah, so this is something, my message directly to the American uh, staying or living in Thailand. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much for joining me in reporting from home, Kun Chai. And that's all of okay. Thai PBS World tonight.